Okay, when you get your package, um, you're going to get something like this in the mail. And what you'll find inside is a sheet with the lens protectors, big ones obviously for the case on the GoPro, and a little one for the camera itself right here on the lens. So the first thing you need to do is there's a protective liner on all of these that you're going to need to remove. You can hold it down and like pick at it with your fingernail, or if you have something like this, you know, this works pretty good, but you just flick it. You're going to get a little sheet that comes off like this. You just discard that, <coughs> and I'll take one off this little one too, since we're doing both. Okay, so what you want to do is avoid touching the adhesive on the lens protector, and you want to make sure your lens is clean. We've already cleaned these, so we're good to go. really pretty easy. The most important thing is that you center it. And don't put it on and move it around or anything like that. Just center it right over the top. Give it a look from above. Touch it with your finger. Tack it in place. And then kind of roll your finger around the lens to get it on there. And then there you go. You have your lens protector installed on the camera. And essentially you want to do the same thing on this. Now this is a lot bigger and you have to be a little more careful about it. This is the one that more people have trouble installing than any other. But it's really not that complicated if you really just focus on what you're doing and just try to do it in one everything in one smooth motion. So you just look above it. Oops. Sorry, drop it. Look above it. Stick it right on in the center, and then once again, push it down in the center, and then in a consistent smooth motion, rotate it out to the edges, and then that is installed. Now it can take a little while for it to uh, bond to the glass completely, so the adhesive, you know, if you shoot a video on the first day, it might appear a little hazy, but it should go away within a day or so. Um, once you get these on, by the way, we don't give you eight of these because they get scratched. We give you eight so you can get a nice clean install. For some reason, if you have a blurry image, just pull it off and do it again. Um, you know, if you have a spot that seems like it's not quite right on the video. So um, just tear one of these off and replace it. Once you get one of these on here, it should really last unless you have something really serious happen to the camera. So that's the basic install on the GoPro. Um, with the drift, same thing, you know, you're going to get the package, it's going to come with the lens protectors, pull your liner off. Now with the drift, it's a little bit different, if I can get this thing started. There we go. The drift lens is smaller, and it also has... Um, you have to be closer to the edges, so there's less room for error, but in the end, it's just all about putting it on in the center. And put your finger over the top there, and then just rub it around in a smooth motion, rotating around to the edges. You don't want to do like a crisscross pattern, you'll end up with blurry spots. So just from the center, in a rotating motion, pressing down all the way to the outside edges. And then once you get it in installed, same thing, it's good to go. This has a flat screen. Um, it's going to come with a screen protector for that, it's this right here, and it has something also in common with uh, the GoPro focus lens for the GoPro. It's flat. Anything that's flat, you're going to want to use um, a little bit of water or like soapy water is fine, but in the end, you'll clean this surface and uh, just get it a little bit wet so that you can position it, but it's a lot harder on a flat surface to put it on without getting some bubbles in it. So you get your liner off. This one's not really nearly as important because it doesn't have a lens that you're filming through. And you put it on there. And just use a paper towel or your fingers or whatever to rub out any bubbles or any flaws that you see. And then this one will take a couple days to dry, but once it's dry, it should be nice and clear. And you would do that same kind of technique on the uh, Go for Focus flat lens, the lens that they sell for these, so you can film underwater and have a clear image. You just want to use a little water when you install it, and that's about it. Once these dry, they'll be good to go, and 
to be able to go out there and get your videos without worrying about scratching your camera.